You want that gun? Pick it up. I wish you would. The legendary John Wayne, an actor who came to epitomize the American West, playing many roles embodying American characters. It's not a surprise that was also the case in terms of the vehicles he owned as well. The Duke had a garage comprised of various vehicles from American manufacturers, and his true fans are surely aware of John's love for Pontiac station wagons. It's safe to say that of his estimated accumulated wealth of $50 million, a fair share was spent on compiling a tasteful American garage. 1966 International Harvester Travel All. Many of the characters John Wayne played on screen had parallels in his personal life. As an owner of the 26 Bar Ranch, Red River Land and Cattle Company, and an enthusiastic hunter, Wayne required a powerful four-wheel drive vehicle that could get him to every part of his ranch, no matter the weather or the terrain. And the 66 International Harvester Travel All fit the bill. However, it wasn't a traditional Harvester Travel All. Wayne contracted with Ray Gaskin in Pasadena, California in 1966 to build this unique utility vehicle that was referred to as the War Wagon. It was a five-speed manual that featured a V8, which cranked out 245 horsepower and 375 foot-pounds of torque. Some of its highlights included a roof-mounted heavy-duty baggage rack, a 10,000-pound winch with a power takeoff, front and rear strengthened steel bumpers, a spotlight in the middle of the roof, and a roof hatch that may be used as a gun port for hunting antelope. Although the Travel All's interior included certain luxuries like aftermarket air conditioning and an electrically operated rear window, the truck's design prioritized function over aesthetics. 1970, Pontiac Bonneville Station Wagon. Station wagons were the vehicle of choice for transporting people and goods from point A to point B until crossovers became popular. Few vehicles lived up to the promise of the body shape, which was clearly intended to maximize the amount of usable inside space, quite like the enormous Pontiac Bonneville station wagon. John found the Bonneville station wagon to be practical yet classic, which is why he found it necessary to own multiple station wagons in his collection. The Duke also loved wearing his cowboy hat, and hence got a custom raised roof done by the famous designer George Harris of Barris Custom Industries. It featured a three-speed TH400 V8, producing 180 horsepower. Apart from the custom roof, John Wayne had added personal branding and bull's horns on the hood of his Bonneville wagon, channeling all the Wild West energy that the actor loves playing on the silver screen. 1959, Cadillac Coupe de Ville hardtop. The fact is that 1959 Cadillacs are enormous and emanate a presence that no station wagon ever created will have. A 59 Caddy with the John Wayne name on it instantly becomes a top-tier automotive icon. Just like the Duke, this Caddy represented America in the purest way possible. The Cadillac was known for its sheer presence and the tank-like build quality, which reflected the start's personality. Take a peek inside and you'll find the cabin to have been finished in all blue, constructed using a combination of leather and fabric. It featured a four-speed hydromatic automatic transmission and a V8 producing 325 horsepower and 430 foot-pounds of torque. It held a zero to 60 mile per hour time of 10.9 seconds and a top speed of 140 miles per hour. nineteen seventy two Pontiac Grand Safari Wagon the Duke was often seen driving his dark green 72 Grand Safari Wagon around his home in Newport Beach California acquired from a gentleman in California who knew Wayne personally the Pontiac Grand Safari was Pontiac's top-of-the-line full-size station wagon offered from 1971 to 1978 the Grand Safari used the grille and interior trim of the Bonneville and Granville passenger car series. The first-generation Grand Safari station wagons are among the largest Pontiac vehicles ever built, with a 127-inch wheelbase and 231-inch length. At a curb weight of approximately 5,300 pounds, it's the heaviest vehicle ever produced by the brand. It featured a three-speed TH400 automatic with 455 cubic inch V8 under the hood. 1953, Chevrolet Corvette. 
1953 was the first year of the Corvette, and John Wayne's was the 51st one ever built out of a limited 300 Corvettes produced that year. He ordered the car site unseen, but after taking delivery of the car, the six foot four inch man found the car to be too small for him and eventually gave it to his good friend and character actor, Ward Bond. It's not known how much the Duke liked the Corvette, if at all, or even how long he actually had possession of the car. The first generation Corvette is commonly referred to as the solid axle generation, as the independent rear suspension did not appear until the 1963 Stingray. The Corvette was rushed into production for its debut model year to capitalize on the enthusiastic public reaction to the concept vehicle, but expectations for the new model were largely unfulfilled. The Corvette featured an inline six and a two-speed power glide and was convertible only. The only options the Corvette had were a heater and an AM radio. All 1953 models had red interiors, polo white exteriors, and painted blue engines. John Wayne's 53 Corvette is now on display at the National Automobile Museum in Reno. 1975 Pontiac Grand Safari Station Wagon. Joining the 72 Grand Safari is a refreshed variant from 1975, which has a sleeker and refined design. This subtle change was enough to encourage the man to acquire another wagon into his collection. Although not the fastest vehicle, the 75 wagon is a lot more powerful despite carrying the same hardware beneath the hood as the 1972 model. It featured a three-speed TH400 automatic transmission, a 455 cubic inch V8, cranking out 200 horsepower and 330 foot-pounds of torque, producing a zero to 60 mile per hour time of 13.3 seconds. The Pontiac station wagons manufactured between 1971 to 1978 were known to be the largest vehicles to have come from the brand and despite the Grand Safari station wagon carrying a V8, it was focused to be a comfort rider. Like the other wagons, this one carries a raised roof as well to accommodate John's height and hat while driving. The interior was all original except for the carpet, which was replaced. 1976 Pontiac Grand Safari station wagon. The 1976 Grand Safari station wagon was one of John Wayne's personal vehicles. To accommodate the Duke's 6'4 height, the roof was raised and the car was customized by George Barris. The Grand Safari model was an iconic and top-of-the-line full-size wagon from the brand. Despite being classified as a B-body car by GM, the Grand Safari carries a massive 127-inch wheelbase that was generally seen on the massive C-body sedan of the era. The two-piece clamshell tailgate design, marketed as the Glideaway tailgate, was a distinct characteristic of the Grand Safari wagons. In a first for the industry, the tailgate dropped into a groove under the cargo floor as the rear power-operated glass slid up into the roof. The Pontiac Grand Safari station wagon came with a massive 7.2-liter V8 engine, which was known for its refinement back in the days. The wagon was finished in a factory paint called Wilderness Green and currently sits at the John Wayne Birthplace Museum in Winterset, Iowa.